Hi, welcome back. It's Lionel, Tech Lead, and partner at West Vault. And I love these short videos because they're just so easy to do. And I think I really have like nice little snippets for you guys to understand. So uh, some people ask me, what exactly is the ARIA system that I use for the AI? What is it? Okay, so it comes from this system called the Opera browser. And they've actually been around for quite some time. Uh, Opera and I didn't look into them until I wanted to get out of Chrome because Google seems to be taking over everything and um, There are lots of very nice features that they have and you ask what exactly is this thing on the left hand side? So over here there are three little icons here that you can actually set um, You know certain parameters over here. They're already built into the browser itself. So you can have ARIA, Chat, GPT, Chat Sonic, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, and Telegram. So little sidebars, they're not a um, they're not widgets or they're not plugins. And that's something I really like a lot. And one thing you really like with the browser, right? is some of these features on the left hand side so you can see that i've got a plug in here but these are just side toolbars uh, one thing that's pretty good is youtube so you can see on the left hand side i have my uh lo-fi music and you want to do some coding you always want to have your lo-fi music i've got a youtube subscription uh, and then on the left hand side you have whatsapp uh, i love that, that it doesn't just take up the whole screen it pops up and pops down uh, and then the last one here is ARIA. So this one, I really like a lot. Let's just swing that into the weight screen and pin it over there so that you can see it. And you can zoom, right? And it's got, uh, you know, all the instructions. We can create a new uh, ARIA screen. And we can start typing in the bottom here uh, some of the details that you want to use like an AI. So it's like ChatGPT. It's built on ChatGPT. It's a little customized for their usage. Um, and I have been trying um, to use this for a lot of coding stuff, especially if I want to code things. If I just want to look at the, say, for example, if I want to look at uh, how to uh, upload a f uh, image in E2 MCE, you know, that's all I'm fine. There's a tutorial there. But what I would love to do, right, is actually um, get the code itself. So I don't have to repeat. I I have a rough idea of what I want to code through, but I rather have the AI do it out for me, and I can even insert certain variables that I want inside the software so that it makes things a lot easier for me to. I just copy and paste it into my code, right? So that's starting to run over here on the left hand side. We're going to jump into that. Okay. So sometimes it gives me uh, instructions uh, on what to copy and paste. I do like the coloring. That's pretty good. You can just copy this and paste it and you can look at it. And it gives me an actually an explanation for it. So you can say, uh, you can actually call things with a certain uh, variable name and then it updates it and you can give it more directions and work on it similar to chat GPT. So I found this really useful. It's something that you guys want to consider. Uh, you can you can call stuff uh, names and change the variables and then once you're done you just copy it and paste it into your code saves you a lot of time especially if you know what you're doing so if you're an experienced coder you know roughly what this is it's just that you can't remember all the names or the format or you just want to save all this stuff uh, save you the time of, of typing it raw uh, especially HTML, right? You, there's a lot of time being wasted. You can just type that all in and the AI will do that. It's not too complicated. It's very reliable. Um, it's pretty fast. You saw that. It's about, you know, maybe 30 seconds to load the thing, um, which is, that's pretty good. You know, by the time you copy and paste 10 times. Uh, the other thing is it's very good for um, just simple, like if you want to remove uh, double dashes and things like that very easy for example can you let's say we can say let's can you change model variable to event uh, I am something like that uh, it does it really really well puts it all in lots of commands I use it for a lot of those automated uh, things that you wanted that are already being generated or one thing that's really good that can be done is uh, Linux commands. 
So I think that's probably one big area that I would love to see Unix commands. So here they've done it, they changed it. There is a, a, a bug where it puts the word link in there. Um, I think it's just defining it. They, someone left it in the code. Hopefully they clean it up. But you can see you've got model link image there over here. So I just zoom that in there. You can see that clearly. So I asked it to change the variable into event link and uh, event image. So they've changed it everywhere in the code and you can just copy and paste it and it'll work all that. So very interesting. I want you guys can jump onto the uh, Opera page over here. I think they're doing quite a lot of interesting stuff that is um, that I like a lot. These are things that are very good. You don't, you don't really want a full tab. You know, I have tons of tabs of that. Really good on that. I really like the AI popping up. That's been a time saver. Uh, overall, the browser is just not too bad. You know, I, I we're officially using it and I can't really complain. Uh, I love a lot of stuff like the free VPN and some of these things. So just have a look at it. It's a little tip for you guys if you want to put some AI into your, your coding game. Um, I'm confident enough to say that AI is now a valuable part of our tool set and it'll probably be spreading a lot to a lot of the coders out there. So that's the ball line because the tech lead said so.